first cross season, but now this is the second cross season. So what would you say the best changes, both like mentally and physically? Hi, I'm Andy Schmidt. I am 17 years old and I coach Dylan and Jack Sakrachek. Um, I'm a three-time national champion and I race for the national team over in Europe and then I placed fifth overall in the junior tour of Ireland. since I started this sport. So from the beginning, from the first cross season to this upcoming road season, like what is the biggest weakness that you've seen um, personally in me? I feel like for you it's mostly just mental. Like I'd say the biggest thing that like I worry about like for you going into races is just like how you're thinking about it because you always are like, oh, well like I'm not good at climbing or I'm not good at this or that and like I feel like you psych yourself out, out a lot because like for, I, I don't think you know it but like I feel like deep down like I, I've always thought that you could do like more than you can so that's why I always push you and both both you and Dylan to like go harder during rides and like you're like oh like this is so hard or whatever but then I'm like nah like you guys can do it like it's not as bad as you think or whatever so I feel like 
just mostly like before races and stuff like you always talk about it like you're always already thinking about everything that could go wrong but i feel like you've definitely improved like from from the time you started but i think it's definitely your biggest weakness mm -hmm. um, yeah so i think the the hardest part was um you know trick that transition and just you know mentally yeah you know, i know it's learning that, sense, that yeah. uh you know i can go longer than three minutes five minutes 20 minutes yeah i just rode 100 miles you know yeah you can conceive that yeah the, the first couple of months yeah i think the biggest weakness if i had to pin you down on it would be between your ears <laughs> yeah i know that's what andy said too and that's what dylan was saying too so what would, what would be the biggest strength no you don't have any strength not there. <laughs> i would say your biggest strength is that like you you have like a really clear vision of like where you want to go and like a lot of people they don't really have goals they just kind of do it and like hope for the best but i feel like you kind of really know what you enjoy you're like oh like i really like road season like i'm really amped for it and like i'm looking forward to it and i feel like that really helps because like when you have a vision like you, you're able to follow through with it instead of just kind of going with the flow so you have, i've seen you turn that around you you've taken kind of the the i you know can i do this to flipping it you know i'm going to do this and this is yeah. what i'm going to do and you've turned it into a strength so impressive 448 on the front this time What 
would you say like your favorite race or you know ride that you've seen me compete in or in ride in? So, like what would your favorite moment? I would say like watching like the live stream on nationals, mm -hmm. like seeing your start that was pretty sick. Like you're yeah. in the top ten years of moving up and stuff, and I was like, damn, like he's yeah he's really he's really ahead of the game right now. Like I didn't expect like you to do that at the start of nationals because nationals like even for someone who's really good like the start can be like like hectic and yeah really tough to get up there and you definitely showed that you could be up there and be in the fight until you get the mechanical but like I definitely think if you if you didn't have the mechanical, like you would have done really well. So, uh, I mean, I think I mean you're having an amazing race, and unfortunately, yeah. the mechanical yeah. um, got the best of, of you know, probably, arguably, your best, certainly your best UCI race of the season up yeah. to that point. Um, but I mean, you're focused. You had a great start. Yeah. You, I mean, you're in the sitting in the top ten. I know. You know. Road season, I think you guys, uh, or you personally, um, you, know, you get the opportunity to race your brother, I know. Which, which, which would be great because I think you can put him in the box and and uh, <laughs> have some fun with that. But you know, you know what you're capable of, and you know you can. Yeah. You know, Put that towards next season, but for me, as as a as a coach, and, um, you know, being part of the, the trip, yeah, the, the exciting thing for me mm -hmm. is you know, racing the bike. Is yeah, yeah, obviously while we're there, but the whole rest of the trip, you know, experiencing places, and, mm -hmm. and you know, when you look back 20 years from now, on, yeah, you won't care about the result, but you'll yeah. think about all the other things we did. It's five years from now. Where would you see me? Or it could be five, it could be ten, or like when I'm peaking. Where would you like? Where would you think you would be most? Well, I would say like just like with the passion you have now, just like seeing you like grow. I would say like you could definitely carry it into college, and that could be like a big part of like your college life. And like obviously, there's a few a few schools that offer like big cycling programs. So you know, I definitely see you in a college setting, trying to pursue a program that has. You know, whether it's a club or a collegiate, you know, racing program, I think you'd really enjoy that and enjoy the travel, enjoy the racing, and because you've been kind of later to the game than most, yeah, uh, you know, you'll continue to learn and do well and yeah. click and 